Now, let's do a website teardown. All right, so we're doing Away, which is a travel company. They sell suitcases, but apparently they're a tech company. I don't know <laughs> why that makes them a tech company. They just sell suitcases online. It's direct to I, consumer. I'm pretty sure Samsonite also sells suitcases direct to consumer. Is Samsonite a tech company? No, they are not. Uh, <laughs> if you want the background on here, check out uh, even just their, they have a Wikipedia article. They have been in the news quite frequently over, mostly over a, uh, they had a lot of PR oh, yeah. moves, but then some atrocious um, company culture surfaced. Oh yeah, the CEO was like a monster. Yeah. And she got kicked out. In December 5th, 2019, a report from The Verge described a toxic workplace and quote, culture of intimidation and constant surveillance at a way. And the CEO apologized, said she was appalled to read her own messages. They literally just had her Slack messages in this article. It was brutal. Uh, anyway, all right. So if you want to look that up, feel free. The But let's look at, we're not here to gossip. Let's look at awaytravel.com. I've got it open in front of me. Do you see oh, it? Oh, no. It's a shop drop down. Ah, go. <laughs> uh. Landing on this site, my initial impression is it is, it's minimal to the point of being, it looks sparse. It's bad. It's like too minimal. I mean, and the shop drop down only has five things in it. And one of which is shop all. You know, I just put the four things in the, t in the main navigation. <laughs> agreed. Yeah. I think because you've got, uh, yeah, it could just literally be those four things in the main menu. And then they've got Explore. That can go in that right menu with, like, Help, Our Stores, Login. Our Stores, oh my gosh, they got a lot of locations. Okay, so there's no video on the homepage. There's a little bit of CSS animation that's nice. And we got some social proof. We got some press review quotes. Honestly, my because Away was an early direct-to-consumer darling, TTC, DTC, I expected an experience... And I haven't gotten past the homepage, and I don't own one of these. I really expected an experience more like Allbirds, where it was, like, hyper-polished. Yeah, this is pretty basic. At the same time, you know, maybe that minimalism drives conversions. Or maybe, you know, no one is buying luggage at the moment, so they gave up. Who knows? I do, on the homepage, they have the favorites, which I like. I wish that was, like, I wish that was the first thing. I think at this point, by the time I hit awaytravel.com, I know what I'm going for. I'm going for bags. Well, th that's all they sell. All right, so I'm going for... I'm going to go shop suitcases. I want, like, this original core product suitcase. I wonder if this was ever a Kickstarter. This feels like a thing that would have started on Kickstarter, right? Oh, I don't... I don't know. All right, I won't look it up. The... Okay, so the homepage we're a little disappointed on. This suit, I'm on uh, slash shop slash suitcases. This collection grid and page, I like. It's good. It's fine. I mean, it's just another minimalist white space who gives a shit to me. <laughs> so you have, I'm also increasingly um, anti-design, where like things get over-designed and I start to lose interest. But I... I like a, co a clean collection grid speaks to me. And here, the products are all photographed in exactly the same way. This collection grid uh, utilizes white space in a, a phenomenal fashion. I will say I like and enjoy this collection grid. It is not doing anything fancy. They just committed to doing a grid really, really well. All right. Well, they got these little things where you hover over it and it shows you the color swatches. And then if you click on the color swatches, it, change, it changes the the photo to ah. that color, which is cool from an implementation standpoint, but who is clicking on those tiny little swatches? You know, I would not have thought to do it, but I'm sure I've heat mapped the stuff enough to know that people probably would click on this. I just tried to set them all to the same color. Cause what's nice is it, uh, it remembers like it, it's not just on hover. If you click and then move away and do another one, they all stay. Yeah, so I set them all to like, I gave them all racing stripes. It's just a radio. All right, button. I'm going with the the carry on. I I perceive that the carry on was like the original core product. So I'm clicking that guy. So what makes this good? <laughs> it's does it like 
uh, hold, advertising, it hold, Paul. It, it holds your stuff. I believe this was the first one that had a uh, a a power pack built into it, so it had USB ports to charge your phone. Um, and then the FAA said, "Well, eh, actually, you can't use that. If uh, you couldn't use it as a checked bag, I think was the issue. Like oh, the battery yeah. has to always be with you in case it starts smoking." Landing on this page, the product detail page. Scroll down to like the animated GIF background. This is what I'm here for. Look at that thing. It is an animated GIF of or video of like a stop motion video of this bag packing itself. And so it, it's eye catching. It's cool, but it's also a very uh, clever way to illustrate exactly how much it holds. And then at the end, a bowling ball hits it. So we're to believe, you know, the polycarb shell will defeat bowling ball impacts. And then it keeps going. There's actually a lot of that, a lot of these animations. This vi this animation is in terrible quality. It's like some, it, it's a chunky frame rate because it's stop motion. Yeah, but I'm defending that, this. It's that it's it's an HTML5 video. No, it's like it's all pixelated. This is terrible. You know, I re I recall this from some time ago. I think they've this has been the the media they've used for a while. Because this feels very familiar to me. I'm looking at the code for this thing. And at the bottom we get our, our reviews widget. Looks good. Uh, standard. Oh, so I can order it with or without the battery now. The Chalet Collection channels the spirit of retro slope style. What? <laughs> slope style, you know. Is that like skate or die? No, it's the, it's, uh, I guess this is a ski accessory. <laughs> For travelers who want to stay connected on the go, it comes with, you know, I have like a $50 Samsonite that I really think is the same damn thing. They're using accordion menus for the details and the return policy. As an upsell in the cart, I can add uh, checked luggage to it. Whoa. What does that, what really does that mean? Doubles the oh, price. You, oh, you can add what like a the garment bag mine i'm looking at uh yeah carry on slash peak and if i go back what's peak i don't know i, I added to cart anyway i think these videos are trash they're pixelated <laughs> and terrible and i guess that's fine that they're stop motion but at least like take them at a higher resolution so they don't look like trash and also it looks really ugly how as you scroll up and down the the text on it like reveals itself just like chunkily from behind a uh, uh, like a shade. So like, yes, just have it be there. Yeah, I I'm with you on the 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 CSS animation in addition to the the video. The is, pixelated is video going too far. I mean, how much better would these videos look if they weren't stop motion? But how would you do that? I mean, it's literally a stop motion video. That's how they did it. I get it, but it's like, what if it's just a person actually like doing the stuff, like a pair of hands? It would look ten times better. I think you just don't like stop motion. I well, I, I just think these videos look cheap. How do you feel about the Nightmare Before Christmas? Okay, see that stop motion, and also, uh, it was Ray Harryhausen's birthday, so on TCM, the only channel I watch, <laughs> they showed a bunch of Ray Harryhausen movies. Who is the king of stop motion? See, he did his stop motion, or you know, like the. Empire Strikes Back, everything on Hoth, stop motion. The That was done at 24 frames a second. When I see stop motion that's like five frames a second, I'm just like, this is a shitty video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I accept, I accept your view. Once I've added the item to cart, and so they tried to upsell me with a personalization. I could personalize it uh, so I can add t it's a $10 upcharge to get a tag. I can... The initial price they give you is without the battery, and then you add the battery, and that ups the cost. And then they'll also offer you, well, hey, did you want to get the matching carry-on with it too? So there's a lot of lot of efforts to uh, really like dramatically increase the average order value. The other thing that's interesting is in the cart, the discount code lives in the cart. It's not in the checkout. Uh, and then, but in the cart, again, there's even more cross sells where it's like, add one or two more things. And it's like packing cubes. Who doesn't like packing cubes? I'm getting some packing cubes. 
What's huh. the mini? Yeah, it, it, it tells you to add things, but you don't know what they are. The mini is an extremely tiny suitcase. Oh, for God's sake, this isn't a Shopify store. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, huh. This teardown has gone nowhere fast. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. You know what? In the footer of Away Travel, there's a link with the other policy stuff that says accessibility. I'm going to click it. We're going to go over that, and then we're going to wrap up this, uh, this teardown. Accessibility. We made people listen to this. Yeah, I apologize. Away is committed to providing a website that's accessible and navigable to all consumers. We actively work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They define the guidelines they use. We use the guidelines of the Web Accessibility Initiative as a model. Looks like that's from W3. While we strive to adhere, uh, we're not always possible at all times. And then they so they give you like, hey, if you need help. And then they give you their email address and their mailing address in case you want to send them a letter about it. So. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's what we're looking for is you go, look, we tried. Here's specifically how we tried. And if we screwed it up, here's how to get a hold of us. Uh, but let's give them credit. They're up, these upsells are really good. Yes. Uh, they're, they're hitting you with upsells. When you add to cart, they're hitting you with upsells, cross-sells. When you're in the cart. And I'm sure that's a lot of money for them. And I think what's going on with that main menu where it's like shop, then bags, and it's got an arrow. It's trying to funnel me. It's trying to get you to walk through uh, this purchase process. Because if they could do that, like, let's get you to a collection page where we're going to show you and make it really easy for you to put together a set. And I think that's also why I could pick my colors right there, and I've got a four-column grid. So really, it's like, here, imagine this is your luggage, right? That's what's going on here. Uh, and then, all right, I... Once I start with one and add it to my cart, it's trying to cross sell me on, well, get the other one. Like selling, because we're dealing with a fairly expensive item here, the carry on I added is almost $300. Uh, it, once I, if I would have added the, um, like the accompanying bag, the checked bag with it as well, now I'm up to nearly $600. So it really, I mean, it, it's a dramatic revenue impact for them. The, uh, I'm going to disagree with your police work there, Lou. All right. Uh, it would make sense if they were trying to funnel you, if each of those collections were like a different experience when you click on every single link. Like this is the bag experience. This is all this. This is the different way we sell you bags. This is our bags way- experience. It's called yes. bag. <laughs> when we try to sell you interior organizers, all these links do is take you to a collection listing. There's no difference in the presentation of what you're getting, depending on what you select. It's just the products in the bucket. And... On all those pages, on some of those pages, when you get to the bottom, it says make a set and you could click on and build a, it has a product bundler where you could build your own set of things. So if they cared about you making a set, they would just send you to the make a set page. Okay. All right. You make a solid point. How do I get to the the, set? Where's this make a set thing? You got to go to. Oh, make a set. uh, Oh yeah. It's just like an image in the corner. This make a set thing. That should be in the main menu. That, that should, should be, be in the main menu. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I mean, this, this is really cool. It's like a yeah, configurator. That, yeah, that should be all. This is like all profit for them because it it would it shoots your average order value through the roof. I and want they, it's, it's. I want the bigger carry on, on. The interior of one collection page. Oh yeah, I just did a set of three with a battery, and it's seven hundred and fifteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the money's at. And then when you scroll down, you get your loved uh videos well and they all fade in and out like halfway through the page like the fading where you are on the window scroll is like way off let me like, let me refresh and see if i can disappearing. get this oh weird i refreshed and scrolled to the bottom and i just got the footer and then i scrolled up down and then it appeared so it yeah. lazy loads this thing so you don't like that it's got like this kind of parallax scrolling thing going. I just don't like the fade out, the fade in and out. It's just like just let it be there, man. Stop trying to be stop trying to be so freaking fancy. Yeah, well, and then also doing that like load in and out does occasionally create layout issues. In this case, in the reviews, the ask a question button, the layout broke and now it's like it's literally in the middle of a review. All right, so here's another weird thing. 
where you're looking at sets. Yeah. That makes sense. Go to one of the, uh, go to awaytravel.com slash uniform. Okay. Travel uniform. This is another product bundler. Oh, look at this. Which is, it takes you step by step and you can build them each individually. I like which this. To me, which I feel, this feels like a way better way of doing it. Huh. The carry on with a pocket. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't want the pocket? And the battery. And this thing. Okay. And then, yeah, you're right. It's like multiple product forms. And then you pick, you pick your two bags. And this together, they're $425. That's a $45 savings. <laughs> Add to cart. Okay. All right. I do like the cart's very clean. I like it. All right. This this was our worst teardown ever. I'm calling it quits. <laughs> I'm packing it in. I'm not, I'm not traveling anywhere. I've, Come on, Kurt. This is a $1.4 billion company. Doesn't you're this kidding. look like a... Yes, no, that's their valuation is $1.4 billion. Okay, well, then I don't feel bad about being hard on them. <laughs> <laughs> $1.4 Yeah. yeah for selling for, a Samsonite knockoff? Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to exist in two years. Oh, brutal. Set a reminder. Hey, Siri, remind me in two years. Is a way <laughs> still around? <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> Your reminder is set for tomorrow at 2 p.m. No, oh, it's going to oh, remind me tomorrow Siri, at 2 p.m. No. They're probably going to be around then. All right. Oh, by, by the way, the horrible CEO that resigned, uh, she now says that it was not right for her to re resign. So she <laughs> changed her mind? I I don't know. I read in that Wikipedia article, they said, like, uh, that they claimed it was bad reporting. after the, But it was after they apologized. And it had screenshots from their Slack. It, it was, yeah, it was literally screenshots of all the horrible shit she said. She apologized and resigned and then was like, by the way, that was all lies. Then why did you resign? <laughs> oh, and I remember they had, it was, the idea was they had open culture. Was the, And the way they achieved open culture was, you know, like, you weren't allowed to use email or DMs. Like, it was supposed to be everything just goes in a general Slack channel. Yeah, so they would was like public in Slack. Yeah, so that she would... Uh, like dress down people in the slack but it would be in front of the entire company could see it and then that's what the screenshots were of well and it was all and it was all this weird stuff where it's like hey i'm not being negative right now i'm just trying to like call you in so we could all work together in like getting this going and it's like yeah if you no matter what language you count you couch it in you're telling someone they did a shitty job like in front of their peers yeah, it's like, I'm trying to have plausible deniability that I'm being really nice to you right now and not telling you you're doing a shitty job, but it might be better if you were just like, yeah, you suck. <laughs> hey, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but your hygiene offends me. <laughs> uh, hey, no, don't, it was just a joke. Don't get offended. I was just joking. <laughs> that's uh, that, that's anyway, how oppressive devils talk. All DTC startups should be flushed down a toilet. Oh my God. That is my, that is my quote for this episode. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Mindset. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this has turned into a train wreck. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the, please, uh, if that didn't frighten you off, join our Facebook group, the unofficial shop five podcast insiders. And I promise we'll do better next time. I only mean I only mean like the fancy ones, by the way, that are like venture backed and full of full of shit. Not everyone. Okay, so just the there's a list of approved and disapproved DTC startups. Paul Reed is the sole arbiter. Exactly. And okay, so we'll all right that at Paul Reed on Twitter and no. let him know <laughs> which you feel belongs in which column, <laughs> and he'll publish his findings at a later date. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Mr. Rita. Let's, uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. <laughs>